G'day folks, I'm Fred. Welcome to the Traders Outpost. Good morning folks. Today we're going to talk about how to get data from MT4 into our spreadsheets. It's a fairly simple matter. It's slightly different for MT5 and there's a separate video you can see how that's done. But here we are looking at an MT4 chart. This happens to be the euro on the daily, but that's uh, of no consequence. What we're looking for is the uh, data window, which is known up here as the History Center. You can get there by clicking the Tools menu and the History Center icon, or just hitting the F2 button. But once you click into that screen, what you'll get is the History Center. And here, you can within this window, it gives you access to all the data that MetaTrader uses for its trading. It gives you historical information as well as current information. But what we're after today is the daily data for the euro. So what we've got to do is find that. So initially we look under the, the majors here and we click on, on the euro. And then we within the euro there we double click that and we're looking at the daily data. Double clicking again. And as you can see on screen here we now have 7,000 odd records of historical data on the euro, giving us the time, the open, high, low, close, and the volume. And you can see here at a glance that we've got data from the 31st of the 12th, 2018, which is uh, when we're recording this, all the way through to, or starting, back in 1989. Now we don't need all that data, but for the moment we're just going to export this information for use later. So what we'll do now is down here we click the export button and here we've got the opportunity of giving this file a, a name. We're just going to call it EURUSD daily just so we can identify what we're doing and by hitting save we've now saved our data to the desktop ready for future use. What we'll do now just quickly is close this off and load up an indicator that we've also got available for free if you look at our shop which allows you to collect further data on the instrument being tested is to open up the navigator which is available in the toolbar section which then brings up all the indicators etc that are available to you on your platform and the indicator we're looking for here is ATS data collector this is available, as we said earlier, through our shop and is a free download. So load this up, drag it onto your chart, and it will create for you um, some information which is available for later use in the spreadsheet. It gives you the name of the instrument, the currency, the base currency in your, your platform, the buy swap sell spread, the commissions per lot, and this will be dependent on your broker, so you need to go to their website to confirm what their commission charges are. Some of you will have a, a, a zero commission fee, others will have maybe up to $7 commission per, per round trip. The time frame of your chart, we recommend you do all your testing on D1, so we've recommended that here. Other information here is the tick value, the tick size, long swap, short swap, minimum lot size, contract size, and your broker. Now this information may not be something you're familiar with, but it is used throughout our testing and there's more information available on this um, by doing some searching or if you need support, contact us and we'll give you some information. And now that we've got that data, what we want to do is load that into our template. So the first thing we need to do is identify which template we're going to use and we are going to, for this exercise, use the Bollinger Mean Reversion template, which uh, looks like this and this is the MT4, MT5 input tab which has got the information uh, required. We'll close this quickly and here you can see where we've got instrument down here we've got instrument here. So here we want to add in the, um, the instrument we're using which is the Euro USD the base currency from our indicator here as you can see is the AUD and it looks like I've made a spelling mistake there. Oh no, it's okay. The buy spell spread at the moment is 13. Commission per lot, we happen to know, is $7. The time frame we're using is daily, so D1. 
the tick value again from our indicator here is 1.42 if you want to get very specific you can put in all the decimal places the tick size again from our indicator is 0 0.00001 and the long swap in this case it will cost us fifteen dollars and seventeen cents per lot if we're trading long so we type that in and we'll fill out the rest of the information broker here happens to be pepperstone Contract size is 100,000. The minimum lot 0 0.01 and the short swap actually pays us $8.82. So once we've got that information, we've effectively got all we need from MT4 so we can shut that down. And we're now looking for our data. So this is our data file that we've downloaded, the CSV file. And as you can see, we've got the date, the time, which is zero because we're using daily data, the open, high, low, close, and the volume. What we need to do there is just copy the cells we're interested in, and we'll be copying from 2005. As you can see here, we have a limit of 3,500 bars of data for the model, so we can't go back too far, but 3,500 bars is quite a lot of data, particularly on daily. So we go from 2005 through to our present day, do a quick copy and paste, paste that into our spreadsheet, and now we're ready to roll. Having set the data within our MT5, MT4 into MT5 data tab, we can now check to see that it's been accepted on the input sheet. So if we go to the input tab, and you would have seen a previous video that Rich has done on how to drive this spreadsheet. Up here the data source format. Previously you can see we had in here the, the Yahoo data source which was looking at a, an instrument BHP. We're now going to go and select MT45 which should bring in all the Euro information that we've had here. So here you can see at a glance we've, the instrument information we've typed in, the Euro, the daily, Pepperstone, all those numbers that we previously input are now within this spreadsheet and we can now start to analyse the results. So cheers guys and remember, there's gold in them there hills.